What is going on guys? It's now close to midnight. We're now in the car, all three of us. There's Piggy. And we are about to do our road trip to the Algarve, to Lagos, Lagos, Lagos. So in about two and a half hours, we will be there. We have officially arrived in the Algarve in Lagos. It's 3 a.m. and now we've got to take all of this crap up. This is absolutely ridiculous, the amount of stuff that we brought and we're not even going to be here a week. Take a look at this. That is bonkers. Good morning everyone from the Algarve. Here is the view, look at that. The beach is right there. The plan is to spend most of the day at the beach today. It's actually midday already because we only went to sleep at 4am yesterday. So we were really tired and let ourselves sleep in. Try and fast for at least another two hours because I only want to do two meals a day and we're going to have dinner out. So I need to save some calories. By the way, today was my lowest weigh in yet 75.5. Putting the seatbelts on the baby. We are off to the beach. It is a noisy one today. This is the beach. So it's got these dunes along the whole of the of the beach then you've got the sea really nice temperature the wind is actually a good breeze and it's not strong enough to blow our sun things away i'm still hitting my 20k steps per day i've been right on the dot ever since i've started this which was since wednesday if i be, if i'm correct i went for some steps here on the beach can't really go and walk anymore now i'm gonna save my walking for later i'm gonna put on my running shorts and stuff and running shoes i'm looking forward to the day we've been really enjoying it i've had my prosciutto and pineapple it's really chill the temperature is amazing been reading my book and yeah enjoying life enjoying this holiday which is technically not a holiday because I'm going to be working but anyway just enjoying a coffee here on the balcony Let's take a look at that actually I think it looks better now than it did in the morning because the sun the sky has cleared a bit this is really really nice now we've decided that we're going to one of our favorite restaurants he's freaking out with the neighbor's dog. We've decided that we're going to one of our favorite restaurants, which is over there uh, at the end of that beach that you can see, which is a long way. It's a seafood restaurant, but it also has meat and stuff. And we're going to show you some really, really good food. Ever visit Lagos, you'll know where to eat at a very affordable price and really, really good quality. So we just parked the car and we're arriving. Don't be fooled by the outside. Okay, so it's a bit noisy in here, but we've got our starters, which are clams, which are amazing. It's this sauce with garlic and coriander and olive oil, amazing. And then the best part of the meal for me is dipping this bread in that amazing sauce. Well, main course has arrived. I'm having grilled squid and chips and a bit of salad. And Joanna's having this really nice steak. So the restaurant is right beside this marina and it gives it a really nice vibe. I am absolutely stuffed. Restaurant review. That to me was really, really good. The highlight I think was the source of your steak. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How would you rate the meal one, one to 10? Everything. Um, I would say 8.5, yes. 8.5 is pretty solid. The clams were really, really good. I think they, they're they probably my favorite that I've ever had, but they were a bit overpriced. It was 19 euros for a, a dose, but the dose wasn't very big. It was actually pretty small, but it was very good. My squid was also an acceptable price to dose relation. It was 14, almost 15 euros. But Joanna's steak was honestly absolutely amazing. For me, I think the food was 
pretty close to a nine. I think it's a solid nine. So we're back at home. I've finished editing my first video. I'm really excited for this to go up. I did a sort of improvised YouTube banner. I'm going to improve this, I promise. I also changed my YouTube profile pic and I'm really excited to get this channel started because I've been filming a lot, but I haven't uploaded yet. So this is gonna be the moment and it's gonna be the moment that's gonna start it all. I'm really gonna dedicate myself to YouTube. So go and support your boy. I'm just gonna finish my steps. I've, I've still got close to 10K steps to do and it's already close to half past midnight, but we've got to get it done. Gym session tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It's now Monday and this is the day where my first YouTube video is going out. I actually didn't hit a new low weigh-in. Um, I'm actually 400 grams above my previous low weigh-in. I look like death because I had one of the worst nights of sleep in a long time. I could not go to sleep and I had to wake up early at half past eight so that I could go and train. Uh, so I'm headed off to the gym now. It's not gonna be a great session because I'm really not feeling energized, but anyway, we've got to get through it. Now, look at that. Where did the summer go? It's like we're in England all of a sudden. Anyway, I hope the sun comes out a bit later on. But now it's time to get cracking, so let's go. That is the session done. I was only able to film vertical because I was training by myself, but hopefully tomorrow and the day after I'm gonna have a partner and he'll be able to film stuff horizontally as well. But that was a decent session. I mean, I didn't feel the strongest, obviously, like my flat dumbbell press was 30 kg and usually I'm at least at 35 kg, even in this caloric deficit. I'm pretty happy with it considering I only had four hours sleep and man, this gym is amazing. So just being in this, in this atmosphere and having this equipment available, it gives you a different motivation. So really, really good. Now the weather hasn't cleared up yet. Uh, we'll see how it is because we're not gonna stay here for the day. We're going to go actually to Villa Mura. I will see you guys in a minute. 